Is that just a wipe? Oh, I need a high roll magnitude, right? It's my only out. Or just being slower, that works too. Cool. Flaffy has a move slot for Flash, right? Oh, I was dead to quit there. Oops. That would have been embarrassing. Good thing we never get punished. I didn't check what time of day I should go in, but you know what? Whooper is a pretty good result. We take those boys. Wrong trainer. Did I miss this trainer again? I have the best lead anyway. No rock types. Seems like a punt, but I think we'll be okay. Sand Slash is a monster. Unlucky. 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 Uh, sh okay, there's a really annoying fly in my room. Easy. Didn't realize this had Giga Drain. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, this kills easy. Uh, stay in, I think. Let's bite. That was fourteen. Right, I get popping off. Not too afraid of Aurora Beam here. Should've gone mint berry, but never punished. What does this have? Fire punch, yeah, I don't care. Um, I wanna split the 6P, but... Okay, looks like I'll get two. Sand Slash seems good for Pinsir. Nice. I have no fire types in this attempt. But I didn't feel like Quilava was too useful. I was getting a lot of XP on this guy. Hyrule crit might kill. Let's play around it. Um, Flag Sire.
I'm dead to crit. Wait, Body Slam is better than Hyper Fang, huh? Why have I been using Hyper Fang? Do I have to play into the crit here? I kind of do. Maybe not. Nice. I get berry. I'm no longer in crit range. Easy. Okay, I'll fish for Kabuto here. Did I get the rod? I didn't, right? From this guy. Sandslash is getting so much XP, but it's actually completely fine. This feels like a really good Pokemon. It kind of just dodges my dig if I dig, huh? Or it, it catches, dodges my dig if it digs. Let's just go to this guy. Ow! What the f***? Jesus. I think I'm dead to crit here. Okay, I got f***ing goned, I'm not gonna lie. Drew wiped to Blaine on PB. What was his Blaine team? Oh, I'm getting diced up chat. Gligar seeking poop turn, Mr. Rockside on Arcanine. Unlucky. Gligar seems awful, but I guess it's. N yeah, no, it's just way worse than Vibrava. Oh, back to the lab again, Drew. Just using Dig, right? I'm not tired. I mean, I wake up. I woke up at like 6 p.m. So. doing pretty well too. I, it's kind of nice that I get to test both starters on this attempt. It's pretty efficient. Okay, it tackled for some fucking reason. I'm not gonna lie, chat, this thing is dicing me the f up right now. Oh my god, this is dicing me up. Dude, what the fuck? I'm dead to crit. Seriously? 
Seriously. Well. One ice punch. There we fucking go, holy sh was that so hard? Spideff drop. I think I'm dead to crit plus poison tick, right? Let's switch here. That's where we need to see the Mag-10, man. After the Spadef drop, I, yeah, yeah, we're, we're fine. I think, were we not fine there? Am I... How much do I fucking suck at this game, man? Slow down for this. This is a hard fight. Two excrits are the thing, they absolutely are. They just are not a thing in Gen 6 plus. And zoomers, man. Nice crit. Very good start, it's just Sandslash has way too much XP. Let's go to Bayleaf. On the Surf here. Dead to crit. Wow, that does no damage. Wait, Bailey fucking sucks. Okay. Let's go this, bait Thunder Punch, go to Quagsire, hit a high magnitude. I'd probably just bubble beam. I'm gonna stay higher HP here and switch to something. Like, I could pivot into Eradicate, maybe. That's pretty high tempo, let's do it. Let's just not get paralyzed on the Eradicate, shall we? Stay in. We should take a submission, no problem. We have Mint Berry for Spore. Paralyze is huge. Easy. I go Kabuto before Eradicate, um, because the Furt is using Swift, which does more damage than Thunder Punch on the Eradicate. So by going Kabuto, we bait him into 
Um, ooh, what the f- Okay, yeah, focus band. Um, we bait him into going Thunder Punch on the Switch instead, so Raticate has more HP. Uh... I, I guess I go to this. No focus band this time, please. Thank you. All right. Um, encounter time. What daytime do we do? About 33. Okay, we have Sandshrew. I like going for Ekans. It's always Meryl is the highest encounter. Uh, let's go for Nidoran chance at night. Although we already have two ground types. I like the idea of getting Ekans, but it's 5% anyway. Well, let's get Nidoran. Get... Nice. Going in, boys. Did I do this already? Yeah. I'm so close, dude. Probably, uh... Runen. Okay, this is thunder punching. Of course. I might be dead to ice punch crit, so let's switch. Um, Quaggy. Viral Magnitude, easy. Um, switch to this. Am I faster? Nope. Survived though. I have a good feeling about Totodile. It feels pretty good so far, it's very solid. Just a guaranteed like bulky water that does good damage. I don't know if this is the correct lead, to be honest. There's a lot of XP, too. Um, who do I want to go to first? Go to Kabuto, I guess? And to crit. Crits today, man. Oh, should I have Rock Throne? Maybe. Alright, easy clap, easy clap, easy clap. Oh, and this actually is also a Ah, it's got Bubble Beam. I don't know, fam. Damn, this fucking. This Sandslash is kind of cracked out on the DVs, bro. 15 HP, 15 attack. 13 defense, 13 speed? My god! We will never have a better sand slash than this. Fortunately, it's got like a f ton of XP, but. Do I think I should dig one some? Oh, yeah, that doesn't proc the berry. Being exactly 80 is actually bad.
Okay, magnitude six crit. The legendary. Um, let's go to this. Well, paralyze this. Easy clap. The Radicate is kind of scary with this team, but I really don't want to put Kabuto on it. Get over leveled, which is actually really bad because now I have five mons for the rival fight. Should have just done the Firo strat. Should have just gone 24 Firo and taken the range, I think. Okay, so Redicate is out. Paralyze, Barry. Okay, and this doesn't matter. Cool. Good luck, boys. It's gonna be faster than me. Take a drain. Paralyzed Cureberry. Get out of my lobby. Okay. Thunderwave, don't get crit. Easy. Softball does not seem good here. Let's just. Although this might be a random move, right? Let's go to Quagsire. Probably fine. Uh, high roll magnitude. Mint berry ping off. Get the f out of here. Wonderful. Wait. Needle King just completely kind of in walls. Uh, but. Hmm. Not really, right? I was gonna say Needle King walls the shuckle, but. You can't really do damage to it. I guess you like roll sludges until you get the poison. <sighs> we'll see when we're there. We'll, we'll see when we're planning for it. There's not really a good reason to evolve right now. Um, pretty sure I can. So it's going to be using Crunch, so we can go to, um, thing is we're, man, yeah, playing into crits with Sludge anyway. We got the Spadef drop, so I think this kills, okay, cool, yeah, leaf powder into Nido wall, so I'm committing like two slots, one of which is then, u like, kind of useless, I don't know, we could, but. Kinda bad. Okay, after this fight I have to remember that literally every single one of my mons has a bitter berry. Sick. It's a lot of XP though. Oh wait, this doesn't have a flying type attack, huh? Oh well. I 
I swear I missed out on horn attack with this somehow. Shadow Ball, right? The Pineco is actually really cringe now. I'm gonna reflect. Might not have been worth it. This is using Rock Slide. Oh. Damage, man. I'm going in. There's probably a little bit more of an optimal team here, but. Really, huh? Bayleaf is really just that bad. That's fucking crazy, man. It could be a crit range, right? Switch. Well, oh, right. Everything else could get drain. Don't mind me. Okay, Togetic kind of and pops off in this gym, huh? Am I faster? No. What the f do I switch to now? Oh, this is really awkward. <sighs> Whatever I switch to is dead to crit. Oh, I'll, I'll fucking risk the Bayleaf, I guess. Never punished. has rock slide. Oh, uh, this thing is actually really hard to beat. Okay, I'm gonna pivot through this. Hit the rock slide, a little bit less damage on this. God fucking damn, I'm risking a crit here. Or like a five hit or some sh Should kill, right? All right, we're going to Bugsy. Whew. Okay. Right, so this is a 100% kill with the attack DV that I have, which is 8. Also known as 16 attack IV. Got a cute little level up here. And this should be Pinsir. Or Dunce Bars, apparently. I don't fucking know. I don't know how this baits Dunce Bars, but Golbat baits Pinsir, but, you know. It is what it is. Uh, so the idea is to go this. Tank the initial glare. Paralyze Cure Berry. Thunder Wave this. Hopefully live the rock slide or don't get flinched. Just like that. Um, now we can soft boil. It's, we're not dead to crit, so there's no reason not to soft boil until he gets fully paralyzed or hits glare. Although he's not likely to use Glare because he actually doesn't see his own speed debuff, unlike in Emerald. But there it is. That's fine too, that means we don't switch in on a Glare. 
Um, so now we're gonna go to Nido King, Spartan Joy, thank you for the five gifted. Need someone to track if that at uh, the correct amount of time. And now we don't get para flinched, and we just get fucking double kick his face. Just like that. And he gets fully parried. We double kick him again. Cold berry triggered. He glares us. We have paralyzed cure berry. And double kick might actually kill here. It's a pretty good. Uh, not quite, unfortunately. But he doesn't clear. Take a good amount of damage, though. We'll finish him with another double kick. I think we should have sludged or pecked there because I think there's a chance he switches to Ariados. So I probably should have played around that by uh, definitely clicking peck. So this is Psychic. Um, I would like this to Giga Drain, but I really have a good pivot to have him do that. I could... Let's see, so the line would be... This is using Giga Drain. Sorry, this is using Psychic. We switch to... Togetic to bait to the Sludge. And then we switch to... Quagsire to bait the Giga Drain, and then we go to Kenya. That seems to be a pretty good line. We could also just tap in with a Psychic here, but... I don't know if that does anything. It probably does. It probably hits him into Wing Attack range. Let's tap it. He's actually just going to keep using Psychic. I don't know why a sludge should be more damage. Oh my god, that's way more damage than I thought it would do. Okay, we're just staying in and killing this, I guess. Okay, there's the sludge. I think I'm dead to crit. Might get punished here, but the AI is being a little f***ing strange right now. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this is now sludge. And go through this. If it's psychic, it's psychic. It's not that big of a deal. Wait! That's not who I wanted to switch to. <laughs> Oops. There's supposed to be, um... Okay, I think a poison, so probably never punished, but... There's supposed to be Quagsire there. Quagsire's already paralyzed, so he can't be poisoned. He's... Although, this gives me a level up on Kabuto. Which might end up mattering. Yeah, I'm gonna do that a lot, where I switch to the wrong Pokemon in this game, unfortunately. Let's see if this kills. If all that was worth it. I might have used that, um... Okay, sick. And this is Shuckle, I think? Or is it just Scyther? I think it's Shuckle. Yeah. Okay, so this is the reason we pre-paralyzed... Quagsire. Because this one's a toxic and that's sandstorm rapid toxic, so and protect. So the only way this can deal damage now is through rap. We probably don't actually want to be one it. I could try to go for the body slam para. I think it's worth it. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Like I'm not actually advancing the game set at all if I don't get the paralysis on him. It's thirty percent though. If I get it, it's really good, but I it kind of no, it's it it shouldn't be worth it. I think this is a mistake. This is Bubble Beam. Pretend we got fully paired twice there. <laughs> like this is actually gonna do okay damage. We basically just want to soften this up as much as possible so that Kabuto can come in and kill it. Uh, and then Kabuto can be out for the Scyther. Although with the additional damage that Kabuto took, that's a really good crit. There is like a chance that we're just dead to... S we're definitely dead to Steel Wing crit. Um, in fact, let's throw up the Calc here while this runs. Okay, so there is some crit rolls from Steel Wing that kill us. 
We're actually, we could be faster. I think this is a fairly fast Firo, which is a nice alliteration. Nope, this speed ties Scyther. Okay, it's, it's, just, it's just gonna be Kabuto. Let's hit this into Kabuto kill range, and then just switch in on the wrap, go for the rock slide, and then we just, we, there's like a one in 32 or less than that that Kabuto dies to, and it's probably less than that too because Scyther can light screen. Okay, did not mean to crit there, but I got pretty lucky that he didn't die. Otherwise my win percent would have gone down a little bit. Let's go to Kabuto now. We take- oh right, we're wrapped though. Shh. Okay, we need a way to be freed. Let's hope that body slam doesn't kill, I guess. I got- I got too many crits. Okay, nice. Now we hope that he doesn't restore too much while I'm still wrapped. I invested a lot by going Nido King. Oh, wait! The pincer's still alive. Hold the f***ing phone. Okay. So I'm actually not going to go to... Kabuto here, huh? I don't actually know... The, the switch in AI is a little bit weird, so I don't know if the... Sand Slash baits... What the sand slash baits? Um, sand slash is the correct answer to pincer here, though. I totally forgot about the fucking pincer. Let's go to sand slash. That rap goes away when you make a kill. That's not what. That's you're way behind, buddy. It it does, but that that wasn't the point. I did not want to kill that chuckle with Quacksire because of positioning. This pincer. Okay, good. Okay, so this is actually slightly awkward. A lot less awkward, or a lot more awkward than it should have been. I might have to sack here, maybe. Um, I mean, there's no other play, right? I could go to Firo. So the problem is, this is going to be really low HP, so it's going to be a random move from Scyther. I think I have to finish this off with Firo. So that it doesn't bait- so that we don't bait random move from Scyther. Because if Sand Slash is too low, it can be Seal Wing from the, from the Scyther, and then if I switch Kabuto into Seal Wing, we're actually f***ed. Whereas this will bait Wing Attack from Scyther, which... into Steel Wing will not kill. Unless he crits one of them. Which is a little bit awkward. I'm definitely hitting this. Close to level up, but nothing we could have done about that. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting spot. I speed tie this Scyther, which makes me not want to take this fight. Um, I'm also just pretty sure I'm straight up dead to slash crit, or wing attack crit, which he will go for. Um, so this, always, this is always Kabuto. I might get punished for my misplay earlier, where I switched Kabuto instead of Quagsire on accident, if he crits one of these. Didn't crit that. Need him not to crit this either. If he crits this, I maybe wipe. Fuck. Actually punished. I think I would have died there anyway, right? I mean, it, the only reasonable answer is Firo, and hope I don't get crit. I, I need to win the speed tie, actually. Unless quick attack kills. I won the speed tie there, but it doesn't matter there, unless I crit. Okay, he went light screen. He could have gone light screen on the Kabuto too, by the way, which make, made that crit even less likely. It's a little bit f***ed, but... I don't think wing attack um, or quick attack kills though, which is why I didn't go for it. <sighs> Unlucky, but I think I played it as correctly as I could have, except for the one, the accidental Kabuto switch, which 
I'm just getting used to the new gen right now. That's kind of fine. Um, and I think I was dead to crit anyway, even if I had 10 more HP there, I think. I, I was dead to most crit rolls there. I was at 33 HP, so I would have been at 43. Yeah, I was dead to all crit rolls anyway, despite that misplay, so... 